Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. When you do astrophotography and especially deep sky astrophotography, you naturally deal with many various pieces of equipment like an imaging camera, guide camera, mount, mini PC or a laptop, electronic focuser or dew heaters. More advanced imagers can also use a motorized flat panel and a rotator as well. All of them require USB connections and some pieces of gear require power to operate. If you control your telescope with a mini PC like I do or a laptop, then you definitely need a power box to get more power outputs on the telescope, keep it more organized and reduce the amount of cords running from the telescope to the ground. There are many different power boxes available on the market and I've used a variety of them. Some provide just power distribution, other options uh, combine USB and power outputs as well as ports to connect dew heaters. Usually those more advanced solutions come at a high price, but here we got a new player in the game. SVBony recently released their power box that provides power and USB outputs. It supports some of the dew heaters as well and comes at the price that is way below what competitors offer. The model is called SV241 and um, this one I got on Amazon just for 55 US dollars. Svibony hasn't given it to me for free and they in fact don't even know that I got this power box to review. And uh, like honestly, I didn't really need a power box as all of my telescopes they have either Pegasus Astra power box or Wanderer Astra, but I really wanted to see what you can get for that low price. So let's take a look at SV241 in detail. SV241 power box offers the following. 6 DC power outputs, two USB 3.1 for devices that require data transmission, one USB 2.0 for simpler devices like a mount or electronic focuser, one USB Type-C port and two USB 2.0 ports that do not support data transfer but rather work as power ports with 5V output to power your dew heaters. The power input is a common DC port and the input USB interface is USB Type-B. On the bottom of the box there are also some mounting threads and in the packaging you will get the power box itself of course, then you're gonna get an instruction, there will be two DC to DC cables, one USB Type-B to USB 3.0 to basically connect the power box to computer and there will be a power cord with DC connection on one end and cigarette lightning on the other end. Okay, so here is my project that I've been working on lately. This is a pretty much portable rig with a 200mm focal length Soviet Union lens. Uh, I got the lens for about like 100 US dollars and I wanted to see if it can be used for astrophotography. On the screen you can see a couple of my test images I've taken using it and I'm planning to film a separate video about the lens once I get more images, more experience with it. And uh, right now guys, it's really good time to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in the future video or in general in the content that I make. Anyway, I decided to mount the SV241 power box on this portable rig and this is how everything looks like. So pretty much what we got here is iAptron's Smart EQ Pro tracker mount that supports ASCOM drivers and pretty much works exactly the same as HEQ5 or EQ6R Pro mount. Then I got mini PC that controls everything, the 200mm lens of course that images at f4, uh, here I got SVBony SV405CC camera. Probably it's not an ideal choice for uh, that rig in terms of the image scale, but that's all I got for now. I also have a filter wheel and pretty much I take images in narrowband and this filter is Scorpio 3 nanometer dual narrowband filter. And then of course I also have the guide scope which is SV165, the camera is SV305. This is how everything looks like. Um, on the bottom from the mini PC I got a SV241 power box itself. So as you can see I have these four DC ports taken. One goes to the mount, one more for the camera, one more for mini PC and the other port goes to power my dew heaters. And uh, as of now I also have two extra DC uh, ports available. I do not use uh, USB power outputs for dew heaters as I have this adapter. Uh, DC to RC adapter, then let's see if I can flip it on the other side and you can see it. You can see it on the other side where basically we have USB connections. So I only use my guide camera here, my mount and that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, USB Type-C port is not taken, I also have extra USB 3.0 port over here. Uh, talking about my mini PC, I only got my power box connected here and uh, the camera. And the only thing that I forgot, I just took it off from the Skywatcher rig, is that over here I got 
uh, Wi-Fi adapter to increase the quality of the Wi-Fi signal as I control the power box remotely from uh, the backyard. So what do I think about this power box after a couple of imaging nights with it? Overall, the box does exactly what it says. It works as a simple power and USB hub. The main reason it's so cheap compared to others is that it's not a controlled hub. Second, it's a pretty much really simple device. It has just USB and DC outputs. Now I wanted to cover two main concerns that I had about the box. First concern that I had before buying was that it's not a controlled box, but after getting my first experience with it, I can say that it's actually not a big issue, especially if you're a beginner and you have a beginner deep sky setup, not a lot of stuff, but it's gonna be a really useful device. Second concern comes to powering dew heaters. Asibony expects you to use USB powered dew heaters and not those that have RCA connections. At first I was curious about the reasons behind it, but then I remembered that Asibony also sells dew heaters and uh, guess what connection their heater requires. I personally don't have anything against USB dew heaters, but uh, it is not something that I would personally work with just because I simply got used to uh, RCA dew heaters. So this is why I purchased this uh, DC to RCA adapter and uh, it allows me to connect my standard RCA dew heaters to the DC port of SV241. Everything seems to work just fine and the only downside of that is that uh, dew heaters they power it at all times, which can be a problem if you use a battery as your power source. To sum up, I think that a Switch 41 power box is a great budget option for those folks that do first steps in deep sky photography and use either laptops or mini PCs to control everything. A Switch 41 would not break the bank, but will be a really useful device for those folks that are just at the beginning of the journey. And the only thing to consider before buying is that you need to figure out how you want to organize your D heater management. You can either use existing USB ports or use an adapter to connect RCA2 heaters like I did. I would possibly probably go with a second option as over time you might upgrade to different power bugs that will have RCA connections and that will be just uh, like an easier way to upgrade and um, do astrophotography later pretty much. Alright guys, so I believe this is the end of my brief review. The video was probably a bit short, but there is really nothing else to cover. I think the power box delivers 100% value for the money and if you want something more from the power box then consider getting more advanced option by a different manufacturer as uh, this power box is the only option that Sibony offers at the time of filming this video. Now, what I also want to do for the video is to give away this power box to a lucky viewer. I will not waste your time during the video, so I posted all the rules to enter the giveaway in the description down below. I think the rules are pretty simple and let's see how the giveaway goes. I've never done this before on the channel, this is my really first time doing this and uh, yep, once again, uh, let's see how it goes and of course I wish luck to everyone who decides to participate. So this is all I got for this video, really hope to see you in my future videos guys and until next time, clear skies!